Hello, and welcome to Biohacking with Brittany. I am so happy that you are listening today to this podcast episode, and I'm excited to be here. My voice is a little croaky this morning as I'm recording this, so just bear with me. I'm on the verge of getting sick, but it's very much like on the verge and I'm like fighting it very hardcore right now so that it doesn't like turn into anything fully, but I can just hear it in my voice and in my sinuses. I am taking a couple of things to help me. That's like what I'm looking at in front of me right now. So I'm taking a green juice right now, which is a cold pressed green juice. It has, let's read it out. It has cucumber, celery, spinach, kale, lemon, and ginger in it. And I have my cup of tea with me. And then I have this throat throat spray. Yeah. So this is something from Beekeepers Naturals. It's propolis. And it is something that basically gives you a bunch of antioxidants and supports your immune health. They actually sent this to me a couple of weeks ago and I have it. And now I'm like borderline sick. So it's great to have it in my back pocket. You take like four sprays a day, three to six times a day. And the medicinal ingredients in it are like the propolis, which has 85 milligrams in it per four sprays. And then it also has a vegetable glycerin and purified water. Yeah. And it says traditionally used in herbal medicine to help relieve sore throat and or other mouth and throat infections. So that is what I'm dealing with right now this morning, which is great. <laughs> And yes, and so just thank you to everybody who is listening. Also, I want to say that my audio podcasting recording setup has changed and I am hoping that this audio sounds great. So I have finally invested in professional, I guess you could call it professional, professional podcasting equipment. So the right microphone and arm to hold it and technology and headphones. And I am really hoping that this helps with the sound quality. I've had a lot of sound quality issues with my podcast. And thank you so much for listening and bearing through them. I know sometimes the podcast episodes just don't sound as like clear as we want them to be. And I'm really working to fix that problem. So I'm hoping this new microphone helps. And I think it will. This is the microphone that you actually see on all of the interviews on like YouTube. So if you watch, you know, people like Andrew Huberman, I guess he doesn't use a microphone in front of him though. Like, you know, Almost 30 or the Nick Files show or any of those like celebrity shows where they're interviewing people face-to-face, like in person. This is the microphone that everybody uses. It's like the most popular one. And I got the newest version. So I'm hoping that this makes better quality for you because I know when I listen to podcasts, I get so frustrated if the audio is not great. And I'll still listen to them, but it really, really bugs me. (laughs) So I'm hoping this is better. And then the other part of that equation just for those people out there who have a podcast or do recordings themselves, is the room that you're in. And so I'm in a room that is quite big. It's technically a second bedroom. Like it's big enough to be called that. There's windows, there's a door outside. There's, you know, my husband's desk is in here with me. There is a pullout bed, like it's quite big. And so there's a lot of echo and that's really crappy for recording. But you know, I am moving to a new house in May and I have a small bedroom and I wanted the smallest one so that I could really make it cozy inside and like create more of a studio and put like these, you know, get these, I forget what they're called, but you get these like fabric tiles that you can stick to the wall that really help with sound. So I'm going to be doing that. And so there will be very little echo And I'm going to put like pillows and stuff because you really want that sound, like you really want fabric to help with sound. I guess like the sound bouncing off in the room. So there's not much I can do about that right now, but I have a better mic and I'm hoping that that is enough for you. 
Today's episode is all about skincare and biohacking skincare. We get into NAD plus or just NAD and how this can help our skin. So this is a very interesting episode. I haven't done a skincare episode in a long time, probably since the summer. And we just dove into the skincare industry, what it's looking like or what to do with all of these things that you're supposed to be taking and having a 10-step routine every day and all of the chemicals and the active ingredients. And and it honestly is just so overwhelming. So this comes from a standpoint of how do we biohack our skincare routine? And I love that because I really think we need to be leveling up what we're doing and the ingredients that we use. So we talk about NAD and how to use it. How do we use such a powerful molecule for skin, not just through an IV or taking the precursors in a supplement? So we dive all into that with Intusi, which is the brand. They are breaking into the US market this year, which I'm really excited about. And I love, 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 love their products. They're in my fridge. I keep them cold. And we talk about that. We talk about keeping your products cold and why that matters. And I use their serum and I use their face cream, like their moisturizer. And it's fabulous. And a shout out to February in general. I'm so excited for this new month. I feel like January was tough for a lot of people. I include myself in that. It felt very long. (laughs) So I'm excited to have a new month with new energy. This month, I am launching my Baby Steps course. And this is going now to everybody on my wait list. So this is a course focused on preconception health and how do we really optimize our bodies before we start to try to conceive. Or maybe you're on that fertility path already and things might not be going the way that you want them to go. This is going to teach you exactly what to do in order to become healthier, in order to increase your chances of getting pregnant right away, naturally having a healthy pregnancy to full term and a healthier birth, a healthier baby, everything like that. It is seeped in research and it also includes my 90-day cleanse. This is exactly what I did. This is what I recommend to my patients and my clients. And I really, really recommend you do this. So it's really exciting when I talk to people and they do it and they get they get pregnant right away because it's awesome just to explain to them like, hey, this is what is going to impact egg quality. This is going to help regulate ovulation. This is going to help increase sperm count and sperm parameters. And it's things that are not super complicated. It's just the fact of doing it day in and day out for a minimum of of three months and giving your body that time to cleanse and detox and really be healthier. So that is coming out this month. Please get on the wait list, send it to people who you know who are in this life stage and you get a hundred dollars off. So if you join the wait list, you get a hundred dollars off and only those people on that wait list will get that. Everybody else will not get that. That is like a private thing that I'm doing. It, it's actually going to be a private email. Like I'm emailing everybody. You will have a private code. It's not going to be shared on social media. It's nothing like that. So I really suggest you do that. And I know that there's hundreds of you on there already, which makes me very happy. And a shout out to Bioptimizers. I was actually taking their magnesium last night. And especially as I'm feeling a little run down, I know that my levels probably need a little love. So magnesium is a, their magnesium is a full spectrum. It includes all seven types of magnesium. So you don't have to worry about which one do I take? Do I take the, you know, what type do I take? Do I take one for headaches? Do I take one for muscle pain or anxiety or sleep issues? Their magnesium includes all seven types. They also have a fabulous sleep product. You like mix it in water before you go to bed and it kicks in. It's got melatonin precursors in it. I love that as a very natural way to help with insomnia or any sleep issues. And I love having it in my back pocket if I'm having a night where I'm not sleeping well. I know I can go make a glass of that and fall asleep very quickly. So it's one of those products that I might not use every single night, but it's very helpful for me to have. 
and be able to pull on when I need. I take their probiotics every day. I've actually run out. I need to order more because I, I kid you not, I take them every single day. And last night when I was like, oh, I'm feeling a little sick. I need to double up on my probiotics. I was like, oh shoot, I'm running out. So I need to get more probiotics. And then I take their digestive enzymes. So every time I have gluten, lactose, anything inflammatory, seed oils, anything that I just feel like, hey, my digestive system might need help breaking this down. I will take that. I'm kind of staying away from that type of food right now, but even with a big meal, it can be really helpful. So I'm just keeping that in mind. So enjoy this podcast episode today. And if you want to check out any of Bioptimizer's products, you can do that. It's linked in my show notes. Uh, it's also, I think the URL is bioptimizers.com slash biohackingbritney. And if you use my discount code biohackingbritney, you get the most amount of money off, which is awesome. So I just want to save you money on healthy choices, okay? So enjoy that. Enjoy this episode. If you have feedback, you can leave a review, a rating. You can message me on Instagram. I will always respond to you. I don't have anyone who has access to my account. I don't have a assistant for social media, I wish. <laughs> so it's literally just me every single time. So enjoy this episode and I will catch you next week for another one. Welcome to Biohacking with Brittany. I am so excited that you are listening today. We are diving into all things skincare and biohacking your skin with using products that are kind of very nuanced and at the forefront of active ingredients, but not the typical active ingredients we might see. So we're actually going to dive into Swiss skincare, which is a first for me. And we are talking with the co-founder and CEO of a company called Into East. I've tried a couple of their products and I absolutely love them. We're going to dive all into that. And I'm welcoming Isabel Greiner, who is just fantastic, who is, you know, the powerhouse behind this company. So we're going to talk about NAD and how it really powers these products and how this might actually be something that you should add to your skincare routine and maybe, I don't know, maybe switch all your products to them. I don't know. We'll see. So Isabel, welcome to the show. Thanks so much, Brittany. Well, I hope you start switching all your products to my friends, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. I love that you are involved in biohacking. I I want to start there because this is a biohacking show and I want to hear about your biohacking favorites or your go-tos before we get into skincare. Sure. I mean, you know, I'll kind of start with my passion for biohacking started. I probably I was kind of an early adopter, maybe 10 or 10 years ago, where I had family members who started having issues with autoimmune diseases. And I'm sure you talk about this a lot. And we see, we all have friends now who have autoimmune diseases. And I just find that, you know, traditional medicine has its limitations. And so I started becoming really interested in functional medicine. How do you, you know, use this amazing machine that's your body to, you know, make yourself well or listen to your body and see when it's not well? And how do you use food and supplements to do that? So this, you know, our skincare brand is in that genre, I would say, you know, this kind of longevity science that underlies a lot of the biohacking. But for me, you know, I'm really simple. So outside of the skincare, I believe in cold showers, which at the winter time at the moment is not a great idea. But I even wash my face with cold water, you know, like I just I just feel like that's really important to get the circulation going. And then low sugar, no caffeine. I'm pretty strict about those two things as well. Yeah, I love that. I I wash my face in the morning with cold water as well as cold as it can go like on the tap. And I, I've been doing it for months and I still have that like little moment of hesitation <laughs> before I do it. But honestly, it, it's so much better for my skin because I found when I was using hot water or warm water, it was drying it out. It felt patchy, red, like almost like stretched and it was not working for me. So now cold water on my face every single morning is like easily part of my routine as well. See, I agree. No, it's definitely important for circulation and it also, it wakes you up and it gives you that immediate glow. <laughs> so I feel like that's kind of a hack too. So when you wake up in the mornings, you're like, okay, I can wake up and give my skin a little bit of wake up too. 
Yeah, absolutely. So how did you go from, you know, being interested in, you know, optimal health and biohacking to then thinking about, okay, how do I apply this to a skincare company? If you could kind of take us to the journey of how you you co-founded this, that would be awesome. Well, the beginning of my career started in skincare and in beauty. So I have a ton of experience. So I worked at Estee Lauder and Avon, et cetera. So I've kind of, you know, been in and out of the beauty world for a very long time. But then through this enthusiasm for wellness, I was actually introduced to a Hans Erle, who's one of our chief scientists, who is actually ex Big Pharma. So he comes from, you know, Merck, Aventus, et cetera. And he's the one who developed the liposomal formulation of the NAD+. And we got to chatting and I said, this is amazing. He said, you know, we've developed this, but we don't know what to do with it. Like, what's the right application? Should we be doing IV drips? Should we be doing skincare, et cetera? And so together we really had this brainstorming and came up with the idea of why don't we do this for skin. And the reason being is one, it makes it more accessible to consumers because a lot of people, and we've seen all the, you know, celebrity videos of celebrities using NAD plus IV drips just more recently. I mean, we started this journey probably four or five years ago. So we were quite at the forefront of the NAD plus revolution, evolution, whatever you want to call it. But, you know, the issue, the issue with NAD plus is you know, typically it's always been administered through IV drips. And IV drips, one, just from a business perspective, you know, obviously there's a lot of regulatory hurdles when you start becoming, you know, a pharmaceutical application. But also for us, I just, you know, the skin is the largest organ in the body. And why not make NAD plus more accessible to that organ, right? So it just seemed like a perfect fit for us. I love that. Yeah, honestly, that that makes a lot of sense. The NAD plus, you know, IVs are are tough, like you said, accessibility, affordability for people, and affordability in particular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ex- exactly. And and how do you make it something that more people have access to? So I I love your approach of thinking about okay, how do we take this ingredient and apply it to the skin? But I'd like to back up for a second when you're talking about this new formulation. In terms of the liposomal, oh my gosh, sorry, it's Friday. Liposomal, yeah. Liposomal, <laughs> there we go. Liposomal, some liposomal. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I'd love for you to explain that to us. So I've seen this in a couple different ways. The most common way that I've seen it is actually in vitamin C supplements. But I'd love for you to explain it to people who maybe don't understand what that means. Well, what it is, is the liposome is actually made out of lipids. So lipids are fats, right? So think of it like a little fat coat around the molecule. So that's how I sort of, that's my analogy. And what that fat coat does, it actually stabilizes the molecule and squeezes it so that it can permeate the barrier of the skin to the lower levels of the dermis, to the papillary dermis. And that's really important because historically, NAD plus precursors have been used in skincare. So you'll see complexes of NMN and R and some NAD+. But the problem with the NAD plus molecule is really, it's quite a large molecule. And so for it to permeate the skin barrier has been historically like elusive. It's, it's difficult, right? But this liposome actually squeezes it and allows it to permeate. So we did these, it's a big word, infrared spectroscopy studies to actually measure to what extent it permeates. And we saw, like I said, that it goes to the papillary dermis, which is really important. And once it gets there, once it permeates the skin barrier, what happens is the lipid, basically, you know, that coating around the molecule merges with the cell wall. And then the liposome deposits the NAD plus directly into the cell. One of the most important biohacks for me is grounding, taking off my shoes and connecting with the earth. There's lots of benefits to grounding, but a big one is how re-energizing it is. However, it's not always practical because we honestly just can't be barefoot all the time. That's the exact problem that Baja has solved with their game-changing grounding shoes. Life's hectic and going barefoot isn't always in the cards. By combining high-performance running shoes with grounding technology, 
They allow you to be grounded when you're on the move when going barefoot isn't possible. They are all about exercise cubed. It's not just about working out. It's about blending exercise, the great outdoors, and grounding. Your holistic well-being all in one pair of stylish kicks. They're not just another shoe brand. They're the first to fuse grounding tech with high-performance shoes, and you can feel the difference as you kiss goodbye to fatigue and stress. I know I definitely do. They currently have two different models, a traditional cushion style, which I love, and a more minimal barefoot style with a thin sole and wider foot designed for the ultimate natural feel. You can keep it real with their simple, cool, and versatile designs if you're hitting the gym, grabbing coffee, doing errands, or going out for your daily walk. If you want to get these, you want to get the same shoes that I have, I really recommend you do. And if you're ready to be more grounded and healthier, you can head over to bahe.co and use my discount code BiohackingBrittany to save 10%. I really recommend these and I think they are the ultimate companion for every biohacker out there. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I I love that you're taking such a revolutionary approach to it because yeah, like you said, I've seen NMN and I've seen NR and other products, but I kind of have a bit of hesitation, you know, when I, when I try these things, because it's exactly what you said is like, how much of this is actually working and making a difference? Is it just like 10% of that ingredient? And, and it's hard to know, but then if you take such a potent ingredient like NAD plus, and then you add in this idea of changing the formulation so that we can actually absorb it better, then that just makes way more sense. Like way more sense. Yeah. So it really is like, the liposome creates absorb- absorption, right? Absorbability. I think of it as almost like an elevator that takes that takes my NAD plus from the top of my skin right down to the lower levels. I love that. I love that. So what are the typical skin conditions, I guess, or issues, whatever you want to call it, that people come to you and then you see this actually makes a significant difference for? That's a great question. I mean, it's it's really about universal skin health rather than a specific condition. But specific conditions come, of course, from external damage. And so what happens with the NAD Plus, it has really two really important roles. One of them is it's responsible for energy production within the nucleus of the cell, in the mitochondria of the cell. And what that means is that as we age, and then hence get wrinkles. But as we age, our NAD plus levels in our cells declines, which means that our cells become less efficient. So the analogy I always use is like a cell phone battery, right? So like think of your cell the same way. It's got batteries inside, just like your cell phone. When you first take it out of the side of the box, out of the box and you plug it in, it charges within a minute, right? Like a hundred percent. But like, 18 months down the road, it takes, I don't know, 10 minutes to charge. So that's kind of what happens to our cells as we age. They just become less efficient. And that efficiency then translates also into the fact that they are less efficient at repairing damage. And NAD plus is also really important for repairing damage in the cell. That can come from both internal and external factors, but those external factors would be things like UV damage. And so a lot of our skin conditions are either through, you know, those environmental factors or maybe even through nutrition, et cetera, we become more sensitized over time to different, you know, like if you think about it, so I'm now 49 just. <laughs> but, you know, as as I get older, like when I get a sunburn, I get freckles and they last a lot longer than when they got freckles when I was 15. Or I'm getting rosacea now as I get older. And so your skin basically gets less efficient at combating external factors that damage your skin and create those conditions. And the NAD plus helps you combat the conditions and makes you regain that efficiency. Yeah. Honestly, it makes a lot of sense. Like it just, it really supports the cells, the skin cells from the inside out to be performed better. Really? That's, that's really what it is. Yeah. I'm curious if, 
you've had any customers or I guess anybody that you know who has tried this for things that are maybe beyond aging, like things like eczema on their bodies or, or I don't know, like just different skin conditions that maybe they've thought, hey, NAD could make a difference here. So these are just anecdotal. So I want to have the disclaimer. Yeah. <laughs> um, they're anecdotal. So they're not, we haven't done any research studies around this, but there's three different cases. One of them is it seems to help with UV damage, right? So I will always advocate everyone to use SPF still and use, you know, non-chemical SPF, but like use an SPF because mm, I don't want to get in trouble. But it does help with UV damage because again, it makes the skin cells more resistant to external damage. Two, anecdotally, I've had people say it really helps with rosacea. So my sister, a good friend of mine that went to school with me, et cetera, like a few different people have come and said it does help with rosacea. And personally, I have a personal example. I had a ton of sun damage actually just underneath my eyes from when I was a kid. So my mom used to always say, put your face in the sun. You're so pale. You know, I grew up in the 70s. <laughs> She's like, get a tan. <laughs> And so I had a ton of these sort of, yeah, like you would think they're freckles, but it was really actually sun damage right underneath my lower lash line. And those, I've been using the eye serum now for two years, and those have disappeared about 70%. Really, like you can't even see them anymore. So I used to always wear concealer under my eyes and I don't anymore. Wow. Wow. That's really significant. Wow, that's that's a really big deal. Yeah, I I've tried your serum and I, I've also tried your essential cream that are, they're sitting in front of me. And I love them. I think I think they're very moisturizing, they're very soft on the skin. And I, I love the way that they feel. And I'm really curious about I want to swing back to the NAD in a second, but I'm curious about the other ingredients that you have in your formulations because what I'm seeing now, and I'm, you know, you're an expert in this space, so you're likely seeing the same thing, is so many brands are all about being green and clean and natural. And I wonder if you try to follow that as well and make more of like less toxic, I guess, product, or what's kind of your take on like balancing that, but also having like strong, potent ingredients that work. So I'm so glad you asked this question. So for me, there's a couple of things that I think as a modern skincare brand need to be table stakes. So one of them is you can't have any nasties. Like it shouldn't even be something that you shout from the rooftops about. It should be an expectation of the consumer that you haven't put microplastics, phthalates, anything like that into your skincare. Because honestly, in today's world, that's no longer acceptable to a consumer. So from that perspective, in terms of naturality, also our formulator was really passionate about this. She's French Swiss and she's just passionate about this topic. So we have in all of our products, we have 95% or higher naturality quotient. So that means that we have, so we have the NAD plus, which I always call this the bottoms up and top, top down approach. So the bottoms up approach means that you know, we're really working on your skin health from the inside out. But the top down means that I've also packed all of each one of the formulas with natural active ingredients that are also each at a clinically effective level. And that means that if it's hyaluronic acid and in clinical trials has shown that, you know, this type of hyaluronic acid needs, you know, I don't know, I'm going to make it up, a 2% dosage, then I put 2% in there. Do you see what I mean? So I really wanted to make sure that whilst we're improving your long-term skin health, you also get an immediate wow with each of the products from the other active ingredients. Nice. I love that. Yeah, I, I love that approach because I just think it's really nice to see a difference right away, honestly, from a consumer standpoint. You know, you'll look in the mirror and you're like, oh, wow, this looks so plump or moisturized, whatever it is. But then as a biohacker, I'm like, okay, this is actually penetrating my cells and doing something long-term 
And kind of like what you said earlier, like if you use it day in and day out, two years from now, my skin is going to look like X, Y, and Z, you know? And and that's what I care about. I, I like the short term, but the long term matters more. And I also find it interesting that you recommend that your products are stored in the fridge because I definitely don't see that a lot when it comes to skincare. So why why is that? Well, because just like I said, modern a modern skincare brand, I think, has to be natural and no nasties, et cetera. Like, I also felt really strongly that we need to be very, very transparent with our consumers. That in the information age, we're like post the information age, <laughs> we're in the, you know, we really need to publish all of our studies on the website. And we have a science that is Google, Googleable. <laughs> that's a word. You know, it's not like we made something up in a lab. NAD Plus is well researched and you can Google that. But we also did stability studies. And remember, I said that the NAD plus is, is an unstable molecule because it has that plus charge, right? And so the liposome helps to stabilize that. But we've also done studies at how does the formula perform at different temperatures and how does it perform at room temperature versus in refrigeration? And so what we found is that, you know, remember, I did the dosage study. Oh, I said, remember, because I was talking to someone else <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> we haven't gone there yet. But we did dosage studies. Sorry about that. We did dosage studies where we looked and we saw that at 5% liposomal formulation in a formula. So as long as we have, so all of our formulas, with the exception of the micellar water, the cleansing lotion, they all have a 5% concentration of liposome, of the liposomal NAD plus in it. And that concentration proved to have to stimulate laminin, collagen, and elastin production inside your skin cells to the same level or better than retinoic acid. The dosage study was, so So from that dosage study, we found out that we needed 5%. And so now getting back to the stability, we said, okay, well, how does the product perform at different temperatures? And what happens after two months at room temperature, the the percentage slightly decreases. So from 5%, you might go to 4.95%, you might go to 4.9%. So in order to have your optimal efficacy, you need to store, you can, all of our products come with two refills. So you pop one into the applicator and you, you know, use it within two months in your bathroom and you pop the other one in the fridge and you keep it there for for a year. It's very, very stable in the refrigerator. So it, if you want to use a beauty fridge, that's totally you know, up to you and you can. But for those people who are like, I'm not going to have a beauty fridge. I don't want to deal with one more thing in my bathroom. I don't want I don't have space, et cetera. Totally okay. I personally keep my NAD, my Intuis in the, in the bathroom and just keep the refills in the fridge. And then, like I said, swap them out when I'm done. Do you know if you're getting enough magnesium? Because four out of five Americans aren't. And that's a big problem because magnesium is involved in more than 300 biochemical reactions in your body. Today, I want to talk to you about the most common signs to look for that could indicate you're magnesium deficient. Listen carefully to the end because there's a special offer happening and this could be exactly what you need. Okay, here we go. Are you irritable or anxious? Do you struggle with insomnia? Do you experience muscle cramps or twitches? Do you have high blood pressure? Are you sometimes constipated? There are dozens of symptoms of magnesium deficiency. So these are just a few of the most common ones. Now, here's what most people don't know. Taking just any magnesium supplement won't solve your problem because most supplements use the cheapest kinds that your body can't use or absorb. That's why I exclusively recommend Magnesium Breakthrough. It's the only full-spectrum magnesium supplement with seven unique forms of magnesium that your body can actually use and absorb. All Bioptimizer supplements are best in class, which is why I use them. If for some reason you feel differently, you can get a full refund, no questions asked. They are so confident that they offer a 365-day money-back guarantee. Just go to bioptimizers.com slash biohackingbrittany. 
In addition to the discount you get by using my promo code biohackingbrittany, you get gifts with your purchase. That's right. You actually get gifts up to two travel size bottles of magnesium breakthrough. So act fast. This is a limited time offer. You can go to bioptimizers.com slash biohackingbrittany. Use my code. It's linked to my show notes on my website and start taking your magnesium today. Nice. I love that. Yeah. I keep all of it in the fridge. Nice. Mind you, I, I also live in an apartment. So like everything right now, anyway, everything is super close by, but I also love the idea of a beauty fridge. I think it's, I think it's so cool. And I think you actually sell one on your website. And I, I think that's just, yeah, go for it. We are actually, we have a little promotion this month where for the new year, where the fridge is complimentary with the starter kit. Oh, nice. I love that. Yeah. I need to get a beauty fridge because I think it's, I think it's just a smart idea. And that's good to know that it lasts a year. Cause I was going to ask you that, you know, I, I think I got your products around, it might've been like November now. And I was wondering as I've been using them, I'm like, I know the, the shelf life is obviously extended using the fridge. And I'm so happy to hear that it's a year so that I have time to, to use plenty them. of time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did want to ask though, and I, and I was thinking about this. So if say I was using all of your products and I bought all of them, which I have all of them, what would be your ideal routine of using them in terms of like, when do I use the serum? When do I use the eye patches? Like, what do you think is the best? So I would say, I'll tell you, my regime is always to use the cleansing lotion first, but I was always a toner girl, you know, like clean your face and then use a toner. So I really enjoy using a toner. So I use the cleansing lotion just to sort of prepare my skin for the serum. Then I use the serum, then I use the essential cream because that gives me the optimal level of hydration, especially in the winter time, which we're in right now. In the summertime, you might not want to like layer both the serum and the essential cream. So depending on what your hydration needs are, you may choose one and the other. And like maybe you want to take the serum and then use an SPF factor because, of, you know, you're in the sunshine or and then use the essential cream at night. So I think it just depends. It gives you a little bit of leeway to play with it. And then I always use the eye serum. But again, because I had that issue under my eyes. I literally was, you know, piling it on. And then the eye masks are really fun. So I use those only when, you know, maybe once a week or once every other week when I have like a special event. And I think, oh my goodness, like today, going out to dinner later, it's been a long week. I just want to give my eyes a little bit of plumping before I go out and, you know, before I put on my makeup and then go out. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I love that. So do you put the eye serum on before the lotion or is it after the lotion? So I put it on after the lotion. So I always go micellar water, serum, essential cream, and then I, you know, pat. And interestingly, I always put it on my finger and then pat it around the eye area, both the top and the bottom. And you do that morning and night, kind of. I do that morning and night. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's good to know. And do you recommend people start with that amount of product? Or do you think this is one of those things that they need to like kind of ease into it so that it's not too much for the skin? So if you were only going to, oh, that's a great question. So easing into the skin, I think it's okay to use all of it because however, if you said, listen, I really, you know, give me one or two products to start with, because not everyone's going to buy all five products right away. I would say, the face serum is, and we, you know, that is really our hero product. That is our best seller. I would absolutely get that because you can easily combine it with other products in your existing skincare regime. And then the second would be the eye serum because again, that between those two, I think you're really, really well covered with the eye serum. Like I said, it's just really important. It also has a little bit of mica in it. So it's really nice. It gives you like a little bit of reflection. (laughs) So that if you've got dark circles, it combats that too, but it gives you that immediate effect and that long-term effect. And I just feel like in the past, I would use eye creams, but I would use them, you know, for short periods of time and not consistently. And neck as well as the eyes, it's just that 
skin is so, you know, gets thinner faster. And so like, it's just really important to take care of both of those areas. Yeah, absolutely. The serum as well on my neck. Oh, you use the face serum on your neck. Okay. You know, you always have a little leftover on your hands. So I sort of, you know, upward motions and then. Yeah, I, I love that. I, um, I have quite sensitive skin to new products, to be honest. And I, I like talking to the founders about these types of products because, you know, even when I've tried to use like retinol or natural versions of retinol, so like Bakuchi oil is something that's common now, my skin will not do well with it. Like it will, it'll be okay for a week. Even this is just using it once a day at night. And then my skin will get like dry and flaky. And it's almost like it's too strong for me. And then when I've tried eye creams, I have to be so careful because what I found was, I, I forgot what they're called, but I was getting like, it might be called Millie, Millie. Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. Those little white dots. Yes. And it was like, I was like, what is, my skin looks worse using this product, you know? And so I have to be so careful because I want these like potent, you know, things that are going to help on the outside, but I also need to be smart about it. And, and I don't know, it's, it's like a balance. It's like, how do you use these effective ingredients, but how do you not overload the skin? I guess. I think it's a great question, to be honest. And I think overloading the skin, you know, so again, like I would use one product at a time and then build up. So you can start with either the face serum or the essential cream, but maybe if you have really, really hypersensitive skin, I would kind of start with one or the other. The nice thing is we, if you buy one, you also get samples of the other. So you'll get a sample of both the face serum and the essential cream with every order. So you can, you know, just buy one in the beginning and then see how it works on your skin. But in terms of the retinol, remember I said that the 5% stimulates the same levels of collagen, elastin, and laminin. So, and, and that was really important to me. I wanted us to benchmark against retinoic acid because I am super, I'm, well, I'm blonde, right? I'm, I have sensitive skin, I'm pale. And so remember mom, mom wanted me to get a tan. So I actually always reacted really badly to any type of retinol product. And so it was really important for me to find an alternative to retinol. So I really see this as an alternative to retinol. But to your point about overloading the skin, I have packed every single one of these formulations full of other goodies that have that immediate effect, like we talked about earlier. So each one of them has kind of like a theme, I would say, or like a purpose. So that also would determine which product you go with. Yeah. I I love that. I think that's, I think that's really important. And you can read more about that on the website in terms of like descriptions. And yeah, for me, I think it's easy to incorporate slower and then kind of build on and see how my skin reacts. And I think it's smart. Like what you said is like, just start with the serum and see how you go. And maybe a month or two pass and you're like, okay, this is, this is working for me. Maybe I'll try adding the essential, the essential cream in now as well, because you know, my skin's reacting in a positive way. And yeah, I've had no adverse reactions at all to your products, just putting that out there. So it's just the other products that I've tried, you know, throughout the years where, you know, you just get sold to them. Like e- even as a biohacker, I, you know, I, I see something and I, I don't really shop at Sephora anymore, but when I was, it was like, oh yeah, this is all natural. And these are all these results I'm going to get. And I was like, yeah, okay, cool. And then it just doesn't work. <laughs> Agreed. And you do have to sort of monitor your skin. And I think your point is, is, is true. So I, you know, I use all the products now, but I think I've, you know, I see the change in my skin over time and it definitely has changed and gotten accustomed to it. And like my skin craves it. You know, I can tell that my skin craves it. I think also one other really important point that you made that I wanted to reiterate, we, there are no contra indications with our serum and other things. So like, if you really wanted to use it, whilst using your retinol, even though it has the same effect as retinol, you could. But if you wanted to combine it with like a vitamin C serum, for example, 
you could do that as well. Because I know it's super confusing out there at the moment in the beauty world. Like I feel like there are so many individual ingredients that are being touted. And so, you know, you have your vitamin C and your hyaluronic acid and your ferulic acid and you, you know, you have like, you know, 10 different tinctures in your bathroom and I think it can get really confusing. So with us, there are no contraindications, but that's also, you know, that's one part. But the second part of that is also because of that confusion, we tried to like take that guessing work out so that you don't have to go to Sephora and buy, you know, seven different things and just stuff each one of them full of all these other goodies. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And I think the average consumer of skincare is very overwhelmed. It's very like, I just, I kind of see her clear of it now because I just felt so confused of, oh, I have to take all of these different ingredients. And then what order do I take them in? And then, and then you end up having this skincare routine that's like got 15 steps. And, it, and it's like, what? How does this make any sense? And then I think, okay, am I just putting a bunch of chemicals on my skin and that, that I need to detox out of my body? Like, I don't know. You know, it's, it's very overwhelming. It's kind of like how we're using, we're doing nutritional supplements too, right? Like I had a friend came over the other day and she's like, you take that many supplements? And I was like, yes. But you know, I've got my CoQ10, I've got my magnesium, I've got this and this and this and this, you know, I'm taking cordyceps, you know, all this stuff. And so there's so many different things that we get bought into, you know, and I just feel like it gets, and you know, we're all about personalization, et cetera, which again, I think of course is important, but these, this is really based on, you know, molecular biology that is true across everybody, right? And you just want to make sure that the NAD plus is helping your long-term skin health. And then You choose the product that fits your needs, that has the ingredients that you feel like are going to address your specific concerns. Yeah, that's exactly it. So if this molecule NAD plus, like, you know, you've done so much research on it and it really sticks out compared to other things that we're talking about, retinol or anything similar. Why do you think that it's not super like popular yet in the skincare industry? Like I, I think you're one of the only brands... I can't even think of other brands that are doing it right now. So there are a couple of other brands that are doing it. Most of them are doing like these complexes. So they have the precursors plus the NAD plus. And also I would say there's a watch out around the stability part. Because by the way, before we'd done the stability studies, like we didn't know, right? I didn't know that it, you know, it has to be at room temperature kind of like how vitamin C degrades over time too, or how sunscreens degrade over time, but like nobody ever really tells you that, right? So I think the reason is, is that this, the science is really nascent. So, you know, you as a biohacker know about it because you're a biohacker, but I I always say this in a year from now, I promise everyone's going to know that not everyone, but you know, like it's just going to be so much more commonplace. So it's the same way how, I don't know, three years ago, nobody knew what a microbiome was, you know, and now everybody does. So I just think that we're a little bit ahead of the game. We're a little bit at the forefront, but this is definitely along the same lines as like metformin and, you know, this whole genre, resveratrol, you know, all these kinds of ingredients are, were called out basically by David Sinclair, right? In his book lifespan. And so an 80 plus is one of those, one of the key players in the, his book as well. So this, this is quite nascent. If you think about it. it's the last four or five years, but it, it's been around forever. It just hasn't come to the forefront and no one has really applied in skincare. It's just been in the IV world and in the supplement world. Yeah. I, I love that. I think that it's good that you guys are ahead of the curve. And it's a very biohacker thing to be an early adopter and, you know, ahead of the curve. So I I love that because I, yeah, I just love talking to people like you who kind of have that mission. I'm curious if these products are safe for pregnancy and postpartum mamas, because I definitely have a portion of my listeners who are in that space. And I don't think retinol is safe for those times. So I'm curious what your your thoughts are. So all of our products are with the exception of the eye mask. 
And is that because it of a certain ingredient in there? You're going to catch me off guard. I it is there is an ingredient, but I can't remember <laughs> which okay. one. Okay. It, oh, I'll I'll think of it in a moment. But yeah, it's all all of them except for that because we get that question quite often. And it's also all of our ingredients are vegan with the exception of the eye mask. Okay. Good to know. Yeah. Cause I see a lot of people searching for retinol alternatives, alternatives when they are, when they're pregnant. Cause I guess there's something about retinol that is just not. Well, and also melasma is a huge issue when you're, you know, during pregnancy. And so you really want to take really good care of your skin. And like I said, in my anecdotal (laughs) <laughs> you know, there is some evidence that it also helps against UV damage. So it's definitely a good idea. What do you have planned for this for this year upcoming? Is there anything new and exciting, new products that you guys are working on, anything like that? So a couple of things. Well, one of them is, is to really expand our footprint in the US because, you know, we are, we have Swiss products. But one of the really exciting thing is, is that we launched our own spa in New York at the end of last year. It's the Intui Spa at the Maison Hudson. So it's a small boutique hotel in the West Village. So it's a very exciting collaboration together with NAD Clinic. So we're doing who do IV drips as well. So we're doing our facials, we offer massages, and then we also offer the NAD Clinic IV drip. So it's really an all 360 degree wellness spa. So that's super exciting. And then we have a couple of new products coming out. Particularly, we're looking to launch a concentrate that's really only available through the facial treatments at the moment, but will be available to the consumers as well. That's so exciting. I would love to go to that spa. You know, next time I'm, yeah, (laughs) next time I'm in New York, just getting the NAD on your face, getting it through the IV, just like completely re- replenishing your stores is, yeah, exactly. is so exciting. Yeah. And I'm sure you have people who kind of come back once a month or something, because that's probably what I would do if I if I lived close by. For sure. And we really wanted our facials also to be, you know, we have a signature facial. Then we also wanted our facials to be, again, have an element of personalization So you can choose whether or not you want like an oxygen facial or you want to have like these ampules, these, you know, super strong concentrates, or you want to have an LED mask or you want to combine all three, you know, so it really gives you a lot of different possibilities depending on what your skin needs are. Do you have a lot of men that also use your products that potentially see benefits and and that type of thing as well? Yeah, for sure. So it's definitely unisex. Because, you know, this is the fascinating part about NAD+. Plus. It is a building block of every cell. So even in pl- you find it in plant cells. So there's no reason why to think it's only for women and not for men. So I think men also, you know, benefit obviously from improving their skin health. And a lot of men, especially those who are like really athletic and stuff like that, haven't necessarily worn enough SPF over the years. So this is a great product for men as well. Yeah. I, I struggle to get my husband to use any type of skincare. Like it's been, I know, or like I wipe my face with water. (laughs) Yeah. I know. A bar of soap, which is super scary because that's pretty abrasive. (laughs) Yeah. It's, it's just a struggle. I think in general, skincare seems to be a very like female thing that people do, I guess. And and I understand that a lot of it is like marketed towards women and the way that the bottles look are are like that. But like you said, yours is very unisex. It does not look super fem- like feminine at all. And so maybe I will try to get my husband on it to see if he'll he'll do it. Maybe just that would once. be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um that would be yeah, I would be very proud because that hasn't happened yet. So we'll, we'll see. But this has been so great. Thank you for coming on my podcast. This is just, I, I'm just so glad I got to pick your brain because now I really understand your products better. And I think everyone did as well. So if people are like, yeah, I need to try this ASAP. I want NAD on my skin. Where can they go and, and how can they connect with you? So definitely they can go to intuist.com to our website. We're also on Instagram. And then 
For you, Brittany, we want to do something special. So we also have a promo code with your name on it. So if anybody wants to try it after this, they can definitely do that. So it would be Brittany 30. Awesome. That is perfect. I will put that in the show notes and I will also put that on my website so people could find that easily and order some and try it because this is like very biohacky skincare. I think everyone is just going to love it. Fantastic. Thanks for listening to another episode of Biohacking with Brittany. If you're interested in finding the show notes or the sponsors for this episode, you can do so on my website, which is biohackingbrittany.com. Remember to follow me on Instagram where I'm most active. My handle is at biohackingbrittany. And if you're interested in working together and you want to email me directly, you can do that. My email is info at biohackingbrittany.com. And I look forward to hearing from you and having you tune in next week.